Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you why and how to use delay in Reaper. Now this is the second video in a series we're doing that focuses on common effects we use in our productions and how to use them in Reaper. But I've made effects videos before. The difference in this series is that I don't want to just focus on how to use these effects, but also why. In this video, we're going to focus on delay. Now, delay is similar to reverb in that they both produce sound that comes after the direct sound or dry sound, which makes it sound more distant, like it was recorded in a bigger room. The difference is that reverb produces many repeats that are extremely close together making it sound like room ambience, where delay has more audible repeats, so you can hear each of them separately, like echoes. So I opened up the same acoustic guitar project from the reverb video. Let's hear it again. So let's go to the track effects, go to the Reaper effects, and this time we'll choose Rhea Delay, which is a delay plugin that comes with Reaper. Double click it to open it, and it looks like this. We can set the delay time based on eighth notes over here. We'll start out with full dry and adjust the wet to taste, which is the delay volume. Notice we could hear a distinct repeat, and it's based on four eighth notes, which is a half note. Let's change it to one eighth note. Now we're just hearing one repeat. If you want to hear more or many repeats, we'll bring up the feedback. And just like with the reverb, we have filters on the delay. The low pass filter passes through the low frequencies and rolls off the high frequencies. And the high pass filter passes through the high frequencies and rolls off the low frequencies. And to hear the filters more clearly, we can solo the delay. Now for the delay musical length, we don't have to use whole numbers for eighth notes. We can use decimals to create a triplet feel. But let's put it back to one eighth note for now, and let's pan it to the left. Let's choose Add Tap, which is going to duplicate our delay settings, and pan the second one to the right and change it to two eighth notes or one quarter note. So the first delay will be an eighth note pan to the left, and the second delay will be a quarter note pan to the right.
And what I usually do is add a reverb after the delays. Double click over here, go to the Reaper effects, and choose Reverb 8. Double click, bring up the dry, and adjust the wet to taste. Make the room bigger and adjust the filter. Now let's try adding delay to the electric guitar. Let's hear it now. And let's treat it the same way as we did with the acoustic guitar. Bring down the wet. We'll use eighth notes. Let's add some feedback for more delays. Adjust the filter. And let's pan it to the left and add another one to the right that's a quarter note long. And let's add some reverb to this. That sounds good as well, but there's another type of delay I want to show you. Let's put the preset back to its default. So everything is starting over. And instead of using a delay length based on eighth notes or musical, we could do it based on time or milliseconds. Let's set it to about 110 milliseconds, which will create a slapback echo or delay. Notice we're not using any feedback because this only needs one delay. Let's filter it a bit. And we can make this stereo as well. Pan it to the left, add another delay or tap. And I like to add about 30 milliseconds to the second one to create a stereo effect. So we'll make it 140. And pan this one to the right. And that's a slapback delay or echo. Let's add some reverb to this. And finally, let's hear some delay on vocals. I have a vocal project right here. And let's try adding both delay types at the same time. I like to set the slapback for vocals to about 180 milliseconds. And let's filter it a bit. Then we can make this stereo by panning this left, adding another delay, pan this one to the right, and let's change this to 210 milliseconds. Then we can add a musical delay on top after the other one. We could set this to two eighth notes or a quarter note, bring down the volume, and bring up some feedback. Let's 
Let's add in some filters. Now we could hear just the slapback delay. Or just the musical delay. Now let's add some reverb to both of them. Make the room size nice and big. And now we're using two separate delays and a reverb to create this effect. So that's pretty much it. That's why and how to use delay in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go.